This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Okay, so to go through and complete the chapter, what we're going to go through and look at is this gain or loss on translation of the overseas subsidiary and look at why it arises and also where it appears in the financial statements. So why it arises is effectively because if we think about the accounting equation, so if we go back and say, in terms of the accounting equation, if we look at my opening net assets plus my profit, that will equal my closing net assets, won't it? Okay. Yes, we are talking about the basic fundamental accounting equation in a strategic business reporting lecture. Okay. Uh, and that will hold provided everything is within the overseas currency. So when we're reporting things in dinars, the opening net assets plus the profit would be equal to the closing net assets. Uh, you know, if you go back and think about the, the previous example, I think the opening net assets that we had at the start of the year at the acquisition date were 500. So if we're looking at millions of dinars. If we just move that 500 down slightly. Uh, we had 500, so that came from our translation schedule working. Uh, the profit was 130, and that gave me 630, didn't it? Okay, which is our closing net assets. And, and in that situation, it's all fine, isn't it? 500 plus 130 is equal to 630. Fine. Uh, but what's the issue? Well, the issue is that the opening net assets will have been at last year's closing rate, so this year's opening rate. The profit is at the average rate, and the closing net assets will be at the closing rate, and that's where problems arise. Because our opening rate was 3.8, closing was 4, sorry, average was 4, careful, and then the closing is there at 4.3. Okay. So if we put that now into millions of dollars, is that 131.6, 32.5, and 146.5. And because we've translated all the assets and liabilities and the profits at different rates, that's not equal uh, to the closing net assets, is it? If you total it up, the 131.6 plus the 32.5, does that give me 161.4? That's what we would expect it to be. However, when we've consolidated it, it's now 146.5. So the difference that you have there, the difference is it 17.6 million. Uh, that difference is a reduction in those net assets, isn't it? It's gone from 164.1 to the 146.5. So if that's the case, what we have there is a loss in the year on translation of the overseas subsidiary of 17.6, okay? Where does that go? Well, if you go back into one of the earlier chapters, I think it might be the third chapter on our financial statements. Uh, you've got your statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And right at the bottom of your statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, you've got your exchange difference on translation of the foreign subsidiary. Okay, so here what you would include within there uh, is that 17.6 million. But don't forget as well, there would also be the exchange gain or loss on our goodwill. Okay, so here what you've got there, if memory serves me right, uh, that exchange gain or loss on goodwill. If I can go back, it's a bit of a guess. There's the NCI. There we have it. The exchange gain or loss on the goodwill is there at 11. So what we've got there is 
is that the total exchange loss is the 17.6 million plus the 11 million which gives you there is it 28.6 million that's your total loss and that total loss will go through OCI okay your other comprehensive income okay there we go uh, that looks quite complicated I think it is it can be quite tricky I think there's an easier way to work out that overall gain or loss on translation is to just separate it out into the constituent parts. The fact that they were making a gain or loss on the opening net assets. So that would have been at the opening rate and is now at the closing rate. So you can work out the gain or loss being the movement as we go from what it was to what it now is. Similarly, the profit for the year was at the average rate in the statement of profit or loss, but is now within your statement of financial position at the closing rate. So we can look at what it was compared to what it now is to get the movement and therefore the gain or loss. And then don't forget as well, you've also got your goodwill. Look at what it was at the start of the year compared to what it is now at the end of the year at your closing rate. You can then work out that translation gain or loss. We've worked it out at 28.6 million. We will show you using this working that it gives you the same figure. And then that gain or loss is recorded in other comprehensive income as shown there. And that may subsequently be reclassified. OK, uh, unlike your gains on revaluations, your gains or losses on fair value through OCI, uh, your exchange differences may be reclassified to profit or loss uh, as that exchange difference moves at some point in the future. OK, uh, so let's go through. Uh, have a look at the example. The example says the gain or loss on translation of the overseas subsidiary, continuing from the previous example that we worked through in stages, work out the gain or loss on the translation of that overseas subsidiary. We've already done it. It's 28.6, but let's do it in a more in a more structured fashion. So what we've got there is we would look at our opening net assets. So it was 500 at my opening rate of 3.8, whereby now it's 500 at the 4.3. Okay. So we've got 131.6, 116.6. One, I think that is a 15.3 million dollar loss why is it a loss it is a loss because it is a reduction in the net assets okay uh, your profit figure for the year your profit figure was 130 at the average rate of four it's now being consolidated as 130 at 4.3. So it was translated in the statement of profit or loss to give us the 32.5 million. It's now 30.2. So again, there has been a reduction in your profits. A reduction in your profits. is there is a loss, isn't it? So there is a loss or a reduction in those profits. Okay. Excellent. If you total those up, I think that gives you 17.6, which is a little bit of magic, isn't it? Because that's the same 17.6 that you've got there. So we've laid it out in a different fashion. Gives you the same answer. Uh, then what you've got as well, is it your goodwill? Uh, your goodwill from your goodwill working was 360 and that was at 3.8. It's now 360 at 4.3. So 
So it was at 94.7. It's now at 83.7. So again, the difference is it there is 11 is a reduction in the asset, which gives you a loss. Okay. And if you total up all of those three figures, the 15.3, the 2.3, and the 11, that will give you is it 28. Point six million dollars, which is a loss, and that loss that you have there will go through OCI, so it will appear here. Okay, there we go. Don't worry about any tax or any craziness such as that. that that's not going to be uh, examined in any way, shape, or form. We can ignore that there. But the key bit is to make sure that you can work out that overall exchange gain or loss for the year on translation of the overseas subsidiary to put within other comprehensive income. Just note, you only need to do that calculation if you are having to prepare the answer for the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. If you're just looking at the preparation of a statement of financial position and the extracts and calculations from it, you only need to go through and do what we did previously in terms of our translation net assets working, whereby we worked out the post acquisition retained earnings and all the gains and losses are just consumed within there. Wow, what a really tricky chapter that is. I think it's one of the most challenging chapters that there is. Uh, within group accounts. So don't get too frustrated. Don't get too bogged down with it. Work the questions. If you get stuck, you won't be the only person getting stuck. I get stuck from time to time as well. We're all human, aren't we? But if you've got any questions, just go through there and throw them on the Ask the Tutor forum. And I'll do my best to get back to you with the right answer as quickly as possible.